hi guys welcome to my kitchen my name is Kenna and if you are here for the very first time welcome welcome please take something take a snack please take a snack sit down take a drink just take something if you are coming here and you want to hear what I have to say because boy oh boy we have a lot of fun discussions here so yeah guys um, today I'm going to cook with me obviously so I'll be cooking yam and snail sauce see i used to love snails see oh my god i've even calmed down snails right now i feel like snails became very unavailable and unnecessarily expensive so i just started leaning towards prawns and shrimps but snails is still one of those things meat with no bone are you joking that i really like so i'll be doing a snail sauce and yam i'll also do with some rice because i really love snail sauce and rice which one do you prefer do you prefer snail sauce with yam or snail sauce with rice i love snail sauce with rice like <laughs> it'll be hitting differently anyway guys we know how it goes the first thing we're going to do is i'll show you the ingredients my tomato is already on the fire but i'll go ahead show you the ingredients and then we can start juicing because dear husbands dear men <laughs> i'm coming for you okay so if you want to see how this is going to go keep watching <laughs> obviously is the snails because it's snail sauce we have our yam there here we have green spices that's celery um basil and what i've forgotten the other thing <laughs> here we have um, our maggi um here blended garlic chopped leeks we have tomato puree thyme my favorite spice um that's kitchen glory all, all spice and then we have white pepper and ginger powder powder the last thing that is not here is uh green peppers so i'm still to do that one the most important thing we have our tomato mix okay we just have blended tomatoes and onions so i've done it um i put it to boil so that all the water comes from it then okay guys so i go online and i always see a lot of videos telling women oh women should do like this to make it not happen women should do like this make, do like this do like this there are so many women do like this the wife is expected to do like this and this and there are very very few videos telling us oh the men should actually do like this to make it work the men should actually do like this so <laughs> Sisters, worry not, I am here to come and tell the men, dear men, I know on this channel we have just like 22%, 23% of guys, but please, my dear sister, watch this, send to your brother, send to your husbands, they should watch it and they should know, okay, so, yeah guys, that's what I'm going to be talking about, what men should know like dear men this is what you should know in a marriage see if you are dating if you are dating please it's not what it's if he's not acting right leave him <laughs> but this is for marriage because you know that for marriage we start safe for better for world you cannot just go like that okay so yeah so the very first thing i want to say is my dear men eh please when it comes to relationship take the lead take the lead what we face is that a lot of men when they are chasing the woman when they want to be with the woman they are the ones always taking the lead making the woman basically becoming comfortable with oh he's always calling and he's always checking i'm not saying that the women should not check on their men but when a man is chasing a woman or when a man wants to be with the woman he's always the one doing the everything and everything and everything and once he has the woman he leaves it and then the woman starts complaining oh you're not calling anymore you're not doing this anymore things are not the same so what i'm trying to say is maintain the energy if you look at a lot of marriages you see that the men have, they have basically left it to the woman like be the one to be more intentional be the one to do everything be the one to so women are carrying a lot when it comes to marriage or more than oh i'm taking care of my kids taking care of the house and all that they have to now be the one to try to spice up romance it's very difficult for you to see a guy sitting with his friend and he's like oh my god i want to do something special for my wife i want to make a space i want to plan a special romantic night mm -mm. majority of the cases you always see that is the woman who's always trying to push effort try to be more intentional oh let's go for more dates let's do this let's do that so that's why i'm just saying that my dear men my dear brothers that is something that will make her happy to feel like oh the energy that this guy put to have me he is still maintaining that energy not that you have me and then you now leave it like okay auntie you're yeah, following for me 
oh yeah my own part was to chase you now your part is to for you to maintain this relationship a relationship is meant for two people so when you're leaving the woman to be the one to take control do everything <laughs> then at that point she's oh, it's only one person working and i really hate that thing that a lot of african people will be like oh and now you be woman on a woman the whole family i hate see oh my god i don't even know how to tell you guys how much i hate that thing when people say that thing it will be turning my stomach because a lot of people are like now woman the whole marriage now woman the whole relationship mm -mm. dead that idea a relationship is for two people to work on okay and the, the, the main the thing that i've noticed is that women are very are the softer people obviously so when a man is showing them concern showing them attention they would definitely reciprocate but for men i don't know is it my dear brothers is it that you people don't i don't know you people cannot read the room you people don't understand that oh this woman she's showing attention so that i can do same for her like see my dear brother say don't abandon that's what i'm just saying don't abandon it don't be she should not be the one always oh celebrating your birthday um surprising you for valentine's day um making an effort let's go out for a date let's spend this time together she should not always be the one doing that you as well can the do that point that will make me to go almost crazy is listen see when i was making my notes i wrote listen and i put exclamation sign exclamation sign exclamation sign <sighs> see dear men please learn to listen see learn to listen men don't know how to listen you're talking to them you're explaining your your issue to them either they are thinking of um something else or like see men what i'm trying to say is that uh, my dear men please eh, i beg you people listen just listen sometimes we don't want anything we just want you to sit there and listen to our own worries sometimes hey eh, guys like I say, it's not about finding a solution. It's not, I just want to listen. Sometimes I just want to vent. I just want to talk about my issues. Especially all some of us housewives, eh? When we just want somebody to talk to when we have come back. Yes, we might be on our phone all day and all that. But when you come back home, we just want that person to understand. Even if a woman is telling you something as stupid as how her pot got burnt. Just listen to her. That's something that a lot of men will just, they'll just cut it off or they'll never listen or they'll just show plain, um, oh, I'm not even interested. When a, when a man is talking, listen. And that brings me to my next point. Communicate. And don't just be looking before, oh, solution. Because I've said this so many times on this channel, a lot of guys believe in solution. Men are normally solution oriented, okay? Yeah, explaining to them, oh, she did this, they did it. Inside his head, he's looking for a solution sometimes she doesn't want you to look for a solution she wants you to one listen and to communicate talk about it ask her questions oh so you i understand when when this and this and this happens i know how you feel like just communicate to her make her to feel heard make her to feel understood because it can be so frustrating when you're trying to tell your husband oh um this and this happened i have this problem this one is happening and inside his head he's just like mm -mm 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 -mm. okay since you are having problem with transportation i'll buy your car yes the solution is good we're not refusing the solution is good but also make her to feel like you're listening to her you understand where she's coming from you then you you, you give solutions sometimes you can even wait and give the solution later because sometimes it's really because a girl i can sit and i'm completely like oh this is my friend this is my friend she stood me up this 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 this, this. and then my husband is just like okay next time don't call her that's the solution to your problem but i don't want to hear the solution i want to vent i want to grumble about this my friend and insult her to you so just leave me to grumble 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 when i'm done grumbling and all that okay then you can come and start telling me yes let's leave her let's let's do this you communication because i know a lot of people are like, oh yes your thought your points are so much on talking 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 yeah because men really have it difficult communicating the next thing is communicate and not run away see a lot of men have this tendency to avoid or run when things get really hard where to have a hard a, a, a complicated discussion a lot of men avoid or they'll just run away i've talked to a lot of people whom they'll just be like oh as the thing was getting heated my husband just entered the car Pew! he went he only came back seven hours later and things like that we have to learn how to communicate if you want to make things work you want to learn how to communicate i know some guys that they just avoid like avoid they 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 how can i put it if there's an issue at hand i have to talk about he'll just avoid he doesn't want to talk about it he'll just be going in circles uh, avoiding the thing oh i have to do this so i cannot we cannot talk now we'll talk tomorrow he avoids it that does not solve the problem 
being married you have to learn how to have the difficult conversations you have to be able to have the difficult conversation with your partner no matter how uncomfortable in youth looks no matter how you know that this thing that we're going to do me bringing out my point i'm going to quarrel the good thing about marriage is that you people have to learn how to quarrel fight about that thing and then look for a solution and still sit and make up so that is just it when things get heated you don't always want to be oh my god i can't do this i can't like i can't i can't you just run away no when things get heated you have to learn how to sit there and handle it that's why it's called marriage if you are dating somebody yes you can be avoiding that was your problem but if you're you you're married to somebody you people have to handle it because if you don't talk about it today the same thing will come tomorrow after tomorrow it will keep coming till you address it so that is also it you want to address problems avoid stop running or avoiding the topic stop like some men who just avoid don't talk to you one week two weeks or a couple of days boom later they come and they start talking like nothing happened no no problem but that is not right you want to do things the right way so that you avoid anything Next thing i'll talk about is be a team player a lot of men take especially these are african men when it comes to being a team player in a relationship in a marriage a lot of men <laughs> they don't they don't how do i want to put it they don't want to be a team they prefer to be the head how do i say like not the head like the team owner i'm like, just saying telling people do this do this do this they don't want to be a team player like okay how are we supposed to make things run properly how are we supposed to do things so that everybody is happy everybody is um, satisfied basically how are we supposed to make everyone happy at this point okay if you see that your partner is overwhelmed with certain chores you can help them if you see that your partner needs like be a team player know that it is not you you are the head then we have these little people working for you and things like that be a team player we are if you look at it like that like okay she's cooking i'm cleaning i'm dry cleaning she's cooking i'm washing she's cooking um she's washing i'm cooking like be a team player you both should work towards seeing that your house is run run successfully it's different for if if both of you have decided to take your gender roles and that like that but if you are in, if you are not taking any gender roles and things like that you want to try to ensure that you are a team player even when it comes to decision making you're a team player okay what is best for both of us let me and my partner sit down and then we discuss what's best for the kids okay i want them to go to boarding school she wanted to go to a day school let's sit down and look at it and see what is best for the children we check the pros we check the pro cons don't just be like oh i'm the man so yeah i'm just telling you so you want to be a team player so that everything runs smoothly that's that's just basically it because a lot of these african men will start telling you even in the bible even in the bible it says that the man is the head and then they come now and then they start talking about oh the neck yeah yeah but yeah the neck so i'm just like oh no you want to be a team player when it comes to managing your your lives do not be don't start pulling rank and things like that it's true sometimes things might get really heated and then you you need to get the decision and then then i'll understand if you're like oh because i'm the man let's we're just going to go what i think because we've been going up and down and we're not having any solution but when it comes to there are certain men that don't just go buy land without telling their wives that they go do things without telling their wives because for them their wife's opinion does not matter they are the head and they're not team players they just see their wife like some i don't know incubator baby making machine or something so Next yeah i'm going to talk about is learn how your woman wants to be loved we talk about love languages every day i don't know how else to explain this i feel like some people they're just stone headed yes <laughs> because a lot of people go ahead and gift people or do people do things to people that they would like others to do to them do you understand like okay i like uh, my love language is receiving gifts so i my i just automatically start giving gifts to my partner because oh i like i like receiving gifts so yes and then sometimes receiving the even giving the gift you're not giving a gift thinking like okay my husband's um love language may be receiving gifts but what kind of things does he like you go ahead and you're buying what kind of thing you like for that person you get which means at the end of the day i will receive something oh you get me a, an expensive shoe i'll look at the shoe and i'm like oh thank you i'm grateful mm, you bought me a shoe but it's not really my style it's not really something i like so i'm not completely pleased but if you are trying to gift me something or you're trying to do something for me and you're looking at it like okay i've seen the kind of shoes that kenna wears so i think this is the kind of shoe or the kind of dress or the kind of bag that she's going to like that's different you get so you want to 
understand how your partner wants to be loved that is understand their love language what makes them happy is it quality time is it me constantly checking on her calling her is it me um giving her gifts is it me giving her words of affirmation is it how does she want to be loved and sometimes if you cannot figure it it is okay ask them like how do you what what is that one thing that i can do that will make you to feel like oh my god my husband loves me my husband my husband you get but a lot of men who just some of them don't even care the few that will care would want to love the woman the way they want to be loved so you want those are two things that you have to understand if you understand how your partner wants to be loved it's going to be so easy it's going to be so easy because sometimes i feel like we complicate life a lot when things are not that complicated if you just have that discussion with your partner you're going to see like oh so so this is the thing this is the small thing that i would have been doing and i would have gone would have avoided all these problems you get like it's that simple so you want to concentrate on the little things concentrate on the small things when you get married to a woman one thing you should understand is what people like changes with time so don't sit and you're like you're married for 10 years you are still doing those things that you used to do for your wife that she made her to she made her feel loved or make her happy people change with babies with everything people change see guys for me me for one <laughs> It's the little things that matter for me. The little things like just you doing some little things for me. I can be overwhelmed with a lot of work and I'm just sitting here and I'm cooking and I'm thinking, oh my God, from here I have to go and start picking all my clothes and folding my clothes. I'm so tired. I wish. And then I just want to enter into the room. My husband has folded them. Oh my God. That would just melt my heart. I could have so many things to do and my husband just does it for me the little is the littlest things like oh i have to finish here then i go and bathe the kids and i want to go to the parlor he has bathed the kids i want to you get he's coming back from work he just sees a chocolate mambo as little as 200 you just buy it and you bring it and i'm like oh i just feel like oh he was thinking about me he got this thing you get so sometimes it's the littlest things some guys will feel like i told my husband once like it's sometimes it's like you're, you're thinking that you have to do one grand gesture oh i'll take it to dubai or i'll do this <laughs> no we like the dubai we like those things but sometimes the littlest thing is the little things you do that that warms people's hearts so men will be like oh i cannot do anything now because i know that my life my wife likes fancy things so i'm waiting when i have money i'll do this no 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 not necessarily sometimes if you don't have the money just the little things just the fact that she keeps her dirty clothes you take them and wash them she don't like you just help her out it speaks volumes guys it speaks volumes anyway my tomatoes are finally dry so let's go ahead and start cooking I have some half, half tomatoes from the fridge. Let's put them in here. Okay, see how dry it is. Okay. Let's do add in the oil. Well, I'm basically leaving to fry it. Go in here. So you put in your snails depending on how you want it to be I always put it at the end because I like it when it's crunchy and then another thing with snails that you always have to take note is that snails are snails are very tricky when you're cooking them um, it's salty that's something I noticed about snails that it's a little salty so when you're putting in your maggi and your salt you have to be very very careful so that it doesn't go too much So, the 
last thing that you put in there is the green peppers. This is the most important spicy snail sauce for each time you're making snails because it brings out green peppers, bring out the flavor in snails, like it brings out the flavor in snails. So uh, even if you don't put any of these spices, there's one major thing that you should always remember in snail sauce and that is the green pepper. I'm going to close it a little bit to boil for like 10 minutes and then we come back. So guys, after 10 minutes, I took it off the fire and this is how our food looks like. This is basically, basically what I had for lunch. I had it with rice because like I told you guys, I love snail sauce and rice. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer snail sauce with yam or snail sauce with rice? So yes guys, this is it. This is how I make my snail sauce. Is this something you love to try? Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do not forget to like and subscribe love you guys bye but sorry before i go do not forget we're going to be doing this reach out to celebrate my birthday next month i'm doing this reach out to help widows and orphans so guys please get to me if you have anything to support love you guys so much bye